Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Ismail Academy. And in this video today, we're going to talk about Android tab layout with navigation draw. So I'm going to create a simple Android application that is going to implement the tab layout within a navigation draw. So I got this request on the Facebook page of our channel. And uh, so I have created this simple application just for that. So if you are looking for Android tab layout implementation with navigation drawer within it, then this video is for you. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to open this final application here and you can see we have these tab layout here and th those tab layout is within the drawer header or navigation draw so these are implemented together so let's go ahead and implement this in our applications by creating a new android studio project so i'm gonna open up my android studio here and i'm gonna create new android studio project with empty activity and i'm gonna give the name as tabs and click on finish okay the build is finished now and i'm gonna go here and uh, create few important files that we need to implement the tab layout so first thing is i'm gonna go here since we are implementing the navigation drawer i want to create few layout resources file inside the layout directory here first thing is nav header that we need to design the navigation header for the our navigation draw click on ok another thing we need is a content main so in this activity main we are going to implement drawer layout so we cannot directly use the constant layout within the drawer uh, draw layout so it is better that we uh, create new uh, separate layout file and include that in this uh, particular activity main.xml file that will be much better idea so in the content main inside this i'm gonna add few more component but first of all i'm gonna change this linear layout to the constant layout and inside uh, i'm gonna add few things that is first thing is toolbar so we need a custom toolbar since we want to implement the navigation draw to our application so match parent and toolbar height is of toolbar size so action bar size i'm gonna give the background as color primary dark and the ID for this particular toolbar that is toolbar okay I'm gonna close this and uh, now I need to fix the constraint for this so I'm gonna go to the design part of this layout and I'm gonna fix the constraint by clicking on this plus sign here okay the design uh, constraint is fixed now and the error is gone okay now just after this I'm gonna add the tab layout so to add the tab layout we need to add the dependencies first okay the default tab layout do not comes uh, added into our project when you create it so we need to add that manually so i'm gonna go to the container here and here i can find the tab layout so i'm gonna drag and drop this tab layout from here to here and it says uh, we need library called Mat material design library so i'm gonna add that now and once this sync is finished uh, we can start using the tab layout okay the gradle build is finished now and here you can see we have this tab uh, tab layout here so i'm gonna drag and drop and adjust the adjust the uh, constraint for this as well so i'm gonna set that so it is not displaying any uh, component tree here so let me try doing something okay okay now it is displaying the component tree for this so uh, I'm gonna fix the constraint okay so uh, let me give the tab layout ID as M tab or tab layout okay so and each and every each uh, item of this tab layout will have its own ID so I'm gonna give that so it is important because we'll need to find out which button is clicked and based on that we are going to uh, load the different fragment inside this uh, tab layout and for that I, we need this ID so this is first item this is second item 
okay and the last one is third item okay and if you want to add more item here you can do that by just dragging and dropping this new tab item okay it will display that here so we are not actually doing that right now so i'm going to delete that and finally we need a view pager to display the whatever the content uh, we want to display when this uh, particular tab item is clicked okay so let me drag and drop this view pager into this layout here and now i need to fix this uh, its constant as well so i'm gonna fix that so uh, this view pager is used to load the fragment so whenever somebody click on any of this tab layout we can uh, load the appropriate fragment and display the data okay so uh, for this view pager as well i'm going to give the id as view pager okay so let's go back to the activity main here and i'm going to set this to draw layout because we are actually implementing the draw layout and i'm going to remove this component from here and uh, i'm going to include that content main layout that we had just created so first i'm gonna give the height and width for this so for now i'm just gonna give match parent with each match parent as well and i'm gonna set the layout and we have content main and it should display that here okay now we also need navigation view and inside that navigation view we need to set the menu and the uh, header for the our navigation draw right so i'm gonna go back here into the container and i'm gonna drag and drop the navigation view so i'm gonna drag and drop here in the layout view get add it will get added here in the navigation view okay so uh also i'm gonna give the id for this drawer so we we need to use this drawer layout uh, later in the java program so it is better that we give id here right now now i'm going to give id for this navigation view all as well so navigation view i'm going to go here and design the navigation header so i'm not going to do anything else here so i'm just going to give a um, black background to this linear layout okay so let me go here and select the background color for background okay so background and i'm going to drag and drop one text view which will have the 30 sp of font size and the color as white so that that will be displayed in the view okay i'm gonna change the text to header view or whatever else you want to write you can write it here or you can design it uh, very beautifully that is up to you okay for the, but for this tutorial purpose i'm not gonna do anything extra here so this is the header that we want to use and uh, uh, i think i'm gonna give height as 200 dp okay this one is fine now we need the menu that is displayed in the navigation draw so to dis uh, to create the menu click on this uh, resource we need to create the new resource file here so i'm gonna go and create new android resource file select menu from here and nav menu okay so i'm gonna go ahead and add one item here so tab menu item and i'm gonna give id as items of this menu menu item so now go back to the activity main and here we can set that menu and the header that we have just created so app menu and uh, from menu we can select the nav menu okay and similarly i'm gonna select the header layout so header layout and from the layout we have nav header right so that was the, our header layout so this is how our design looks like but here we actually don't want this menu to be displayed here when we actually open that activity we want this to be hidden and when users slide from left to right or click on the hamburger sign we want to display this navigation draw right so to do that first we need to uh, select few properties that is fit system windows to true and after that we're gonna set the gravity to start because uh, if we set the layout of gravity as a start it's going to hide from the uh, left left side okay so android layout gravity 
and to the start okay so it's going to hide that here and it is you can notice here that that layout is hidden in this left side okay so this is how we create this navigation uh, drawer resource file so now we'll go to main activity and we'll actually set up the navigation drawer so first thing we need is a drawer layout okay and the drawer layout and we need action bar toggle let's say toggle and I'm gonna give I'm gonna create the variable for navigation view as well so navigation view okay and first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set the toolbar so toolbar and I'm gonna find the resources for that particular toolbar that we have created in the content main that is toolbar and I can set that toolbar to this particular activity by using set support action bar properties so I'm gonna pass the toolbar here and you can see it is uh, giving that it is not compatible that is because I have uh, selected different toolbar so I'm gonna go here and select Android X toolbar and now the error is resolved similarly I'm gonna set the layout resources for the drawer layout and the navigation view as well here so draw layout and I'm gonna find the view by ID and we have drawer and for the navigation view as well I'm gonna find the resources and that is nav view okay so here I'm gonna initialize the action bar toggle class now and while initializing the toggle class we need to provide a few arguments with it so action bar toggle first thing we need to pass is context and then we need to pass the drawer layout that we want to use and next thing is toolbar where we want our drawer hamburger sign to be shown and when we click on that sign uh, it's going to open up the drawer layout and now we need to pass two string for the open and close toggle okay so r string dot open and r string dot close okay but we don't have this uh, string resources so i'm gonna click alt and enter and it will give me the option to create the string resources so i'm just gonna add open and similarly for the close i'm gonna give the content as close and it is error free now okay so uh what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna add the listener to the our draw layout so i'm gonna use add draw listener and that is toggle okay so uh, sorry toggle so we are adding this draw listener to this draw layout because we want our navigation drawer to open when we click on the hamburger sign and we want this to close when we click on something outside the activity right so to mimic the typical features of navigation drawer we are uh, adding this listener to the draw layout okay so now we need to set few properties for the to toggle first thing i want is uh, say drawer indicator enable it is going to enable the hamburger sign and similarly I'm gonna start the sync state the sync state is going to keep track of if drawer is open or close so based on that it is going to do perform some actions to close or open the navigation drawer okay at this point our navigation drawer should uh, work so let me run this application here and keep in mind that we have not actually implemented the uh, tab layout till here let's just run this application and see if the drawer uh, layout is working or not and i just remember this is not going to work if we run this application in this point it's going to give some error because uh, currently we have this default theme applied to this main activity and it it comes with the its own default toolbar so but we are here we are adding our own toolbar custom toolbar right so for that we need to uh, apply the Android theme of no action bar so we should hide the action bar through the Android uh, theme okay so I'm gonna go to the styles here and create the copy and paste the same thing from the parent theme and I'm gonna change that to no action bar and I'm gonna change this from dark action bar to no action bar okay 
and go back to the Android manifest here and here I'm gonna apply the theme that we have just created that is no action mark. okay now we are ready to run our application so let me run this to my device that is connected here so this we are running this for the first time so it's gonna take a few seconds to run it so let's wait okay the application is running now and you can see that uh, navigation draw is working fine and if I slide from the left side it is going to display the um, our navigation drawer and if I click on this menu it's not going to do anything because we have not handled that yet we'll do that and even if this uh, tab layout is already displaying here but we have not handled that as well uh, of till now so it's not going to work but uh, if you notice here one more thing it is displaying in the black so I don't really like black color here so I'm gonna change this theme to our toolbar so we have that toolbar in the content main.xml so I'm gonna go back here and inside this I'm gonna add one more pro properties called theme and I'm gonna select this theme overlay dot app compat dot dark so it's going to make that uh, toolbar as a white color okay so let me run this again and we'll see what I was talking about okay now you can see that it is displaying in the white color and it is much better now let's go and implement this uh, tab layout 